Match 36, King Caesar vs. Batra by Christian Salibert. Tokyo was in flames as prison bolts shredded block after block. Again. The evil Batra... Yeah, again, because everyone loves Tokyo. The evil Batra had returned to punish mankind for its near destruction of the planet, and this time he would allow no force to stand in his way. The Black Mothra, currently in larval form, was met with the best military forces the puny humans could muster, but they were all mowed down by the insect's might. Soon the city will be completely destroyed, and then Batra will move on to the next, then 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 the next, until match 164. Yeah! Until the entire civilization of man was nothing but burning debris in match 164. As Badger neared the heart of Tokyo, a mighty roar suddenly echoed across the city. Upon turning around to see the cause of the noise, Batra, faced, Batra was faced with the humanoid lion-like creature. King Caesar had come to save Japan from the demonic insect, fully aware of the beast's intention. With a furious cry, Caesar charged his foe. Batra growled in annoyance. How dare this foolish creature try and stop him? Or how dare this fool, foolish creature die and stop him? In a flash of light, purple cri Purple prison bolts blasted from Batra's eyes. Without even stopping his charge, King C Caesar leapt into the air above the blast, spun around and delivered a powerful kick to the side of Batra's head. Cackling in pain and surprise, Batra toppled to the side, crashing through a row of buildings as he went. Pass. Man, King Caesar was not about to let his advantage was not about to let up his advantage. Ooh, and pounced on his fallen foe. Nice. <laughs> he immediately began pounding Batra. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't know. Man, for an old guy, he still has it in him. Oh yeah. yeah. Old but gold. With his mighty claws, drawing sparks with each strike. By the way, okay, here we go. Nope, we're fine. No matter how hard Batra struggled, he couldn't just lodge Caesar. Well, yeah. Finally, he lashed out with his tail, strike at Caesar on his legs, and knocked him off balance. Batra thrust his lower legs out. Ah. Oh. Pushing Caesar backwards and sending him flying. Oh, he didn't send him that. Sending Caesar, sending him landing on his... Wait, what? Pushing, pushing Caesar backwards and sending him landing on his rear. Oh, that sounds wrong. <laughs> that just doesn't sound phonetically correct. When he landed on his rear, uh, a tower landed in his ass. <laughs> Ooh, ow. With a mighty effort, Batra righted himself and fired his prison bolts at Caesar, sure to hit their target. However, the bolts were drawn at King Caesar's left eye, and within nanoseconds, wow, that's pretty fast, they fired out of his right, blasting Batra in the chest. All, all, angrily, and certain that Caesar couldn't repeat the technique... Okay, Batra fired his bolts. Actually, Batra fired his bolts once again, and once again Caesar reflected them, hitting the armored insect in the face and side. Batra roared furiously and advanced on Caesar, who was already back to his feet. Just as Batra, just as Batra was, oh, just as Batra was on him, ooh, King Caesar reached out and grabbed the insect's tusks. He began to grapple with Batra and nearly forced him to his side. With a suddenly, with a suddenly, oh, what's wrong? With a suddenly thrust to his head, <laughs> Batra sent Caesar top into the ground, crashed into a building and covering him in debris. Caesar quickly rose from the wreckage and leapt at Batra, colliding with the money attack and sending them both to the ground. Caesar began pounding on Batra once more, sending his fists into Batra's chitinous face again and again. Batra cackled. But angrily, once again he was forced to the ground by his feline foe, and his main weapons were useless against him. King Caesar stopped his hail of punches. His fists were beginning to tire from. Okay, oh, that's just rude. His fists were beginning to tire from striking his opponent's arm high. He's got tired and left. He's fisting him. He's fisting him too hard. <laughs> he looked for something to use as a weapon. Unfortunately, this gave Badger an opportunity to get back to his feet. The black moth were opened fire. Opened fire. Oh, okay. Open fire, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Open fire with his prison bolts once again, but this time they were aimed at Caesar's feet. Aha! The blast had a cloud of dust and debris in Caesar's face, making it impossible for the Okinawan duty to see until it was too late. Batra had charged and tackled Caesar with his horn with a mighty heave. 
Thatchel lifted Caesar and sent him over his, sent him flying over his head. With a mighty crash, Caesar landed through a nearby skyscraper path. Thatcher walled it. W- walled it. Blah, 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 blah. Over oh. to the investigate. His opponent's prone form. He was unmoving at the moment, but he decided to make sure he was finished by obliterating Caesar's body with his prison bolts. Just as the purple blasts were fired, little Caesar's eyes snapped open and reflected <laughs> bolts. Again, striking Batra's face. Batra shook in agony as the bolts strafed his face while Caesar, little Caesar leapt to his feet and into the air. Just as Batra turned to attack, little Caesar's foot connected with his face. This time, a loud crack was heard and yellow blood began to drip from Batra's mandibles. Little Caesar roared at Batra, folding his canine ears into attack position, pre- prepared to attack again. This foe was proving stronger than Batra had initially thought. He wanted to destroy humanity, not battle another kaiju. He decided to retreat and attack another city. One where his fury, one where this furry beast could not reach him. He fired a crimson prison bolt from his horn at the ground, sending another cloud of dust into King Little Caesar's vision. Another horn bolt, bolt managed to strike Little Caesar in the chest, sending the guardian beast crashing to the ground. When King Little Caesar got back, to his feet, and the dust cleared. The only sign of battery saw was a large hole in the ground. Satisfied with his victory, Little Caesar reared his head back and roared triumphantly, letting his ears drop. The mighty protector turned from Tokyo and began his trek back to Okinawa. Little did he know, Batcher returned shortly after. Winner, Winner King, Caesar. King Caesar. King Little Caesar, to be specific. So that's the new King Caesar head canon. He's Little Caesar before Little Caesars was that yeah, he, thing. I, he was, yeah, he was Little King Caesar. I think Hooray! about hmm. yeah. Badger stood the whole larva form the whole time, didn't he? That's 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 gonna surprise. Well, I mean, that's gonna surprise. Me. I like though. That hasn't really been that hasn't really been done before. Right, it's been a while. Like most of the time, it's either all Omega or you know the whole switch uh, switch sw- uh, swapping between the two forms. But I think Gee, this... I wonder who's gonna win the next match. I Gee. know, but that that that's spoilers for another day. But, yeah, I think, yeah, about the only noteworthy thing, considering all the groundwork KWC set up, it's, like, it's rather cool seeing the Larva Batra, like, get a full match. Like, regardless of whether he won or lost, I think it's rather cool that it was just Larva Batra. Yeah. Still, it was rather neat to have King Caesar win, so. Yeah. Against Batula. Yeah, Batula. Old man still got moves. <laughs> but yeah i mean it's like again just a relatively short fun harmless match at least with no yow- yowling this time yowling yeah <laughs> i do i do yeah but sorry, the next match though it is uh, i wonder who's gonna win and at least it's not written by tom yes so that was match 36 everyone and we will see you guys next time for match 37 Until then. Yay!